right, so let's multiply scientific notation. So when you multiply scientific notation, the front numbers here are going to do exactly what the middle says. So 3 times 4 is going to give us 12. We still have to write times 10 because our answer is going to be in scientific notation. And then the exponents, when you multiply, add, which is going to make this 11. So this is kind of a final answer. It's written in scientific notation, but this number is too big. So what we're going to do is shift the decimal point over. So instead of 12, we're going to have 1.2 times 10. Now, causing this number, because we moved one extra time, this causes it to be 12. That doesn't happen every time, but it does happen when this number ends up larger than 10, or 10 and larger. All right, now we're going to shift this way to dividing scientific notation. So the front numbers, again, are going to do exactly what it says in the middle. 8 divided by 2, and it's going to be 4. And then we have to write times 10. And then the exponents, when you divide, subtract. So 7 minus 5, that's going to give us 2. And we're done. See how this number it doesn't always end up over 10? There we go. All right. So now we're going to do exponents with variables. So this is going to be every, every single element in here. There are three elements. The 3, the x squared, and the y are going to be squared. Okay, I'm going to put a 1 up here so I can remember that there's a 1 there. So 3 squared is 9. That's 3 times 3. x squared to the power of 2, okay, the two numbers here are going to multiply, causing this to be x to the fourth. And then when something has two exponents, like this one does as well, this one had two exponents, so they multiply. This one now has two exponents, so it, it is also going to multiply. All right. Multiplying with variables. 2 times 3 is going to be 6. Exponents that don't have any um, variables that don't have an exponent. I'm just going to put a 1 here. So 2 times 3, x1 times x3, exponents are going to add, and it's going to be x4. y5 times y negative 1, those two numbers are going to add. When you add a negative number, it's the same thing as subtracting. So 5 minus 1, that's going to give us 4 as well. And that's done there. Now, dividing with variables. So the 10 is going to divide with the 5, and that's going to make a 2. x to the 5th divided by x. Remember, there's a 1 here. So the exponents are going to subtract. So that's going to cause it to be 5 minus 1. That's going to be x to the 4th. And then this one's going to be 2 and 4, so that's going to be 2 minus 4, because when you divide the exponent, subtract, so that's going to be 2 minus 4, and it's going to leave us with a negative 2 there. So I'll fix that. 2 and x to the 4th go on the top of the fraction, and y to the 2nd will go on the bottom of the fraction because it's negative. And then there's my final answer. Now we're just going to do some distributive property with exponents. So it's going to be 5x times everything in here. Okay? So I'm going to put a 1 here. So it's going to be 5 times 6 is going to be 30. And then x1 times x3 is going to make x4, because the exponents add. Then 5 times a positive 4, that's going to be a positive 20. And now x1, and there's nothing there, so it's just going to end up being x1, which is written like that. All right, now let's shift over here. Let's do it again. So the 3x to the third is going to multiply with everything over here. So there's 1y and 1x. So it's going to be 3x to the third power times 7y to the first power. So it's going to 3 and the 7 are going to make 21. The x3 doesn't have anything to multiply with, so it's just going to be x3 and y1, which is really just y. See, it just added itself to there. 
I put him x, y because I put him in alphabetical order. And then 3x3 times 4x is going to make 12x to the fourth. And then that one's done. Okay. Now our focus is going to be that. So this is written a little bit out of order. I'm just going to fix it. Negative 12x3, 2x3, times 2x3 plus 5x squared. So it's going to be negative 2 times 2x3. So negative 2 times 2 is going to be negative 4. x3 and x3 are going to make x6. Now it's going to be negative 2 times the 5. That's going to make negative 10. x3 and x2 is going to make x5. And we're done. Good luck.